Hello friends, welcome back to the cabin. I'm fitting the workshop with some old windows we were able to pick up that didn't cost us anything, so that's always the best deal, right? Uh, we're going to be milling up some siding. I got some 2x4s to cut to frame out around the window so when the siding meets um, it's not sticking out. Uh, we're going to have to treat the wood, so we should have a lot of fun. Got some good food to cook up too, so hope you enjoy.
Well, hey everyone, I just want to take a minute and say it is time for another giveaway. I want to congratulate Peter Tomzek on the Outpost channel and also Mark Hudspeth on the Review channel. You guys are the winners for the month of November, so be sure and contact us at SmokyMountainOutpost at gmail.com on how we can get those items to you as soon as possible. Now, for the month of December, the good thing is we have chosen an item that you don't have to plug into electricity and you don't have to recharge any batteries. You've seen me using it here and I am having a blast doing so. That is, we have decided to give away a handsaw. I'll tell you what, you never know when you're going to need one of these and it certainly comes in handy. So this is the giveaway for December. Again, congratulations to both of you all. Let's get back to the video.
Well, we had lots of rain the other day, so the best way to build a fire, if the ground is wet, is to put something down that you're going to build a fire on. So that's what we're going to do. I got a bunch of these shavings here, so also helps if you have a little bit of pine pitch. That's what this is right here. Well, we managed to get a little bit done today. Um, it's actually getting dark and it's like 3.30 because the sun is on such a low plane in the winter time. It gets behind that ridge back there and you can't see real well. Um, but Jennifer wanted to share a joke with you before she left. I do, but first let's say this. That food that Dad just made has to be number one of all time that he's made here at the outpost. And honestly, French toast comes in second, I have to say. Don't mention your gravy because homie doesn't like the gravy. Anyway, what was your joke you, you was talking what about? What food do duck hunters like to eat with their cheese? Quackers. Quackers and cheese. <laughs> well, which side of the turkey has the most feathers? The underneath. The outside. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> That's so silly. Y'all. Uh, uh, well, I bet you don't even know what uh, uh, a turkey's favorite dessert is. Sweet potato. Peach gobbler. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got me today, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Peach cobbler. Oh, goodness. Where are you getting these from? Uh, oh, I don't know. I can't see. He has got to tone it down, y'all. I, I sit and think them up. He's got to tone it no. down. All right. Anyway, she, I'm going to help her get her car loaded so she can get out of here. And then we'll get back at it. See y'all.
what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this aside and let it dry for a day. Then we'll put it up. This is actually the uh, trim for the windows, plus the siding will actually butt up to this as well. So that's the reason it's so thick. The thing about sawmill lumber is it's cheap because it's free, but it's a little bit extra work because you've actually got to square the ends off before you can actually measure. What I'm doing is I'm putting a board down here the same thickness as the siding is and it's just a little short piece uh, but that will start my correct angle as I go up.
Well, now I've got to switch over to some 12 foot uh, material, which would be a little bit more difficult, but not bad. At least I'm past all those cutouts. So I really think that that siding changes the whole look of the workshop. You know, with all the leaves gone, I was looking up there at the top of the ridge on the back side of the property, and it wasn't that long ago that I took a hike up there and did a little cookout. So if you like that kind of stuff, click up here in the top right hand corner. I think you'll enjoy it. Friends, thanks so much for stopping by. We really appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.